Fukushima. The climate crisis is escalating, but we won't change the policy. This has led to a huge problem now. No more half measures on climate protection. What are you watching? The German election is this weekend, so I'm catching up on the debates. What? You didn't tell me you were having an election? I've been talking about it for over a month now. Like when? They started the election campaign in Germany. Cool. He really shouldn't be struggling, but he still is. Ah, that's crazy. Apparently shows that really won the debate. That's interesting. Anyway, it's looking very favorable for Schultz. <laughs> Everett! Hmm? Oh, sorry. Schultz. Let me count the ways we will spend our days living our lives in the U.S.C. Abajo. We're in America now. How about you? See, don't let it get you down. How about you? See, how about wow? Hey everyone, and welcome back to my show. I'm Josie, and I'm from Leipzig, Germany, but I live in Los Angeles with my very own American. As an American, he has no idea what's going on in Germany. Not even when it's as important as the elections. Having experienced election campaigns in both countries, I've noticed one big difference. Americans like it simple. Red or blue. One old white guy against another old white guy. If it's not simple, they won't vote for it. But in Germany, we need to have it complicated. If it's not complicated, we don't trust it. Because we know nothing in life is simple. That's why we always liked you guys. It was always Angela Merkel. She was simple. There have been other chancellors, you know. No, there haven't. She's been chancellor my entire life. Well, at least since 9-11. What? No, that was Chancellor Schroeder's administration. Schroeder? Who was before that? Chancellor Peppermint Patty. Anyway, Merkel has been the chancellor for like 16 years. It's really time for a new leader. I don't understand. How can you have elections without proper campaign? What? We had over a month of campaigning. You're supposed to have like a year's worth of campaigning, Josie. A year and a half if you count the primaries. What? Are you crazy? They have a job to do. How are they going to get anything done if they spend half their term campaigning? Politicians aren't supposed to get anything done, Josie. This is a popularity contest, not a job interview. If I don't feel like I can hang out and have a beer with my leader, I ain't voting for him. Well, everyone in Germany drinks beer, so that's clearly not a usable indicator. Wait, you don't drink beer. Every German drinks beer, Everett. But... Every German! I'm just saying, how can y'all make a well-informed decision if your campaign season is too short to hold rallies across the country? How is anyone going to have time to flip-flop or sink their campaign on a gaff? It's called German efficiency, Everett. Our candidates do just fine embarrassing themselves in the time that they have. Like Laschet, who's the candidate for Merkel's party, he was caught laughing during the president's speech over the tragic floods that we had. Dass Ihnen Hilfe zuteil werden soll. Und diese Hilfe... Wait, y'all have a president? Who's running for president? No one. The president is more like a symbolic figurehead. Like the Queen of England. There's a federal convention that elects the president through secret ballot. Oh, like the Electoral College. Oh, God, no. I mean, the state legislatures do send electors, but there's an even number of electors sent from Congress, so the president usually reflects the majority coalition. Majority coalition? Who's that, one of your EDM bands? Majority coalition. Oh my god, how do I even explain this? Simply, Josie. Simply. Okay, it's when parties decide to work together. Oh, we have that. We call it bipartisan. Yeah, that's because you guys only have two parties. You have more than two parties? Well, technically, we have 40. Are we having a German dinner? Yeah, I baked us some fresh bread, and I even got you a real German beer. 
Armin Laschet. We, we should have Armin elections Laschet, every day. CDU. A favorite is Angela Merkel's successor. He's been losing ground. Annalena Baerbock. Her Annalena Baerbock, who, with no government experience, is heading the Green Party's first run for the chancellery. And then there's Olaf Scholz. The finance minister and center-left SPD candidate Olaf Wait a minute. Scholz. You said there were 40 parties. I only see three people running. Yeah, that's because most parties aren't really popular enough on the federal level to put forth a chancellor candidate. Some of the small parties might still get elected into a local office, but for the most part there may be nine parties that have hopes of getting elected into Congress, and these three represent the most influential parties, so chances are one of them will be chancellor. So you're voting for one of them? No, not technically. You vote for a party, and that party chooses the chancellor. Really? So you're not voting for a person? No, not for chancellor, but we do get two votes. One for a party that we like, and then another one for a local representative. Germany is split up into 299 districts, and each district gets a local representative that goes to the Bundestag. Bundestag? Why is your Congress called Federal Day? Is it because every day is a federal day at the Bundestag? Ooh, I should be Germany's PR person. Well, that's one way to start World War III. Okay, so the 299 representatives and the percentage of votes cast per party make up the Federal Day? You got it, dude. I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, the party with the most seats usually gets to put up the chancellor. But with so many parties, how does anything ever get done? Does the chancellor just force everyone with pure German rage? No, that's where the majority coalition comes in. Okay, so how does the federal day create a majority coalition? Federal day, federal day. Federal Day makes the majority coalition. Two, or sometimes three parties form a coalition to get to over 50% of the seats, and then they just have to compromise on everything. So they might not get exactly what they want, but they will have substantial influence on Germany's policies for the next few years, and they'll get to be secretaries and ministers for the areas that they care about, like finance or the economy. Hold the phone. So you do have a two-party system. You have a majority coalition and a minority coalition. Oh no, there's definitely not a minority coalition. In fact, most of the time the parties in the minority really don't get along. One time they even fought over who has to sit next to each other. Nope, that's too complicated. I have an idea. I'm going to fix your politics. Let's go through each party and I will determine if they are Democrat or Republican. If they're Democrat, I'll drink a beer. And if they're Republican, I'll drink a beer. Okay, so first off, we have the SPD. STD? No, SPD. Sexually permitted disease? What's wrong with you? They're the Social Democratic Party. That's SDP. Oh my god, Social Democratic is one word in Germany. S, Social Democratic, P, Party of D, Deutschland. I see. Well, if this party's all about sex, then they're clearly Democrats. Next. The SPD is actually the oldest party in Germany. They were founded in like 1875. They're traditionally the party of the working class and trade unions. You see? Democrats. Basically, they just kind of focus on social policies and infrastructure and they're kind of moderate. They're old and boring. Kind of like Biden. Their color is red. Wait, they can't be red. That's confusing. Confusing for you. Well, if they're red, then who's blue? Dude, blue is the AfD, the Alternative für Deutschland. They're like anti-immigrants, anti-EU, anti-mask, anti-vax. They're like conspiracy theorists. They don't even believe in climate change. Oh, so they'd be like the Tea Party Trump supporter types. Yeah, I mean, they're a fairly new party. They were founded in 2013, just four years after your Tea Party. They've gotten some seats in Congress, but no other party wants to work with them, so they're definitely not going to make it in the coalition. There are other colors, you know. You mean white? Well, actually, no. There isn't a white. How can you have red and blue without white? This is Germany, not America. Wait, if your flag has red, black, and gold, then who's black and gold? Well, we don't really have 
have a gold, but we do have a yellow. That's the FDP, the Free Democratic Party. Ooh, that sounds nice. I love freedom. Yeah, well, they're all about free market without government regulation. Ah, libertarians. Another one for the Republicans. Yep, liberals. Mm. Libertarians are not liberals. Liberals lean left, and libertarians are about as right as you can get before you become an anarchist. Yeah, in America. But what you guys call libertarians, we call liberals. Well, then what do you call the liberals? The left, I guess. You have a party literally called the left? Not very subtle, are they? Yeah, they're kind of a residual from the GDR, and they're very socialist. They would make Bernie Sanders look like a commercial for capitalism. They want to raise the minimum wage dramatically and have an extensively regulated market. But they've never been able to join the majority. Okay, well they're still Democrats, so that's blue. I mean, red, right? Actually, they're kind of pink, but we call them red as well. Eh, close enough. Mm. But you still haven't answered who's black. Oh, that would be Merkel's party. Ah, so Democrats. Well, no. They're the CDU, the Christian Democratic Union. They stand for Christian and family values. They're more traditional and not very progressive. They have a long and successful history in Germany's government. They were responsible for the recovery of Germany after World War II and for a lot of Germany's economic success. Oh, so they're what the Republican Party in America should be. Yeah, they're just more moderate than American Republicans, but they're closely aligned with the Bavarian version of the party, the CSU or Christian Socialist Union, and those are a lot more conservative. It's kind of as if Texas had their own version of a Republican Party. How can a party with socialism in its name be more conservative? God knows why, Everett. Ah, hence the Christian. Anyway, Merkel lost some popularity within her own party because she allowed some more progressive policies like legalizing gay marriage and allowing Syrian refugees, but mostly she just doesn't want to do it anymore after 16 years, so we have to find somebody new. Oh man, how does a progressive country like Germany be so conservative? It doesn't make sense. Maybe not to an American, but that's what happens when you have to have a coalition. Parties have to work together. Well, according to the chart, the Republicans seem to be dominating. How do Republicans get an extra half? Well, the CSU doesn't seem to be like a whole one now, does it? They're not. CDU and CSU are the same thing. Cross that out. Okay, now let's talk about the Green Party. Oh, well, yeah. Who could forget that party? Let me guess their color. Green. Obviously. And their primary issue is... Everybody knows what the Green Party stands for, Josie. Electric cars and veggie burgers. Actually, the Green Party has pretty strong voter support, and they might be able to join the majority coalition, which they have only done once between 1998 and 2005. With their leftist agenda on taxes and social policies, they might be considered progressives, kind of the AOC and Bernie Sanders of Germany, if you will. Okay, Democrat it is. You see, now it makes more sense to form a bipartisan coalition. But Everett, it's still not bipartisan. Look at the chart, Josie. I just fixed your country. But all these parties have completely different agendas. You can't just simplify it like that. Ah, uh, but Josie, we're in America now, and I'm drunk. Don't uh, hurt the band! The band? band does what? Using the colors for all the parties, we Germans have come up with fun names for all the possible majority coalitions. There is the Traffic Light Coalition, Red, Yellow, Green. The Jamaica Coalition, Black, Yellow, Green, based on the Jamaican flag. The Kenya Coalition, Black, Red, Green, like the Kenyan flag. And the Great Coalition, just black and red, which is what we've had for the last, like, 12 years. Last but not least, there is Red, Red, Green, which we don't really have a fun name for. Clearly, that would be called the Christmas Coalition, or better yet, 
the Christmas party. Maybe, but the Christian parties would probably get really jealous. Wait, you use the Jamaican flag and the Kenya flag, but you don't have the German coalition? Somehow that doesn't sound right. No. Are there any other parties I should know about? None of any significance. There are the pirates. You guys have pirates? Well, they've got my vote. Well, they want to legalize drugs completely. What? I'll vote for them twice! Universal basic income... Ah, Andrew Yang's party, I see. And they want to use the digital revolution to turn us into an information society, essentially making transparency mandatory. Ah, so vote for the German pirates, or we'll stop playing our video games in our parents' basement just long enough to hack into your computer and upload that naughty little video you made with your shots! <laughs> What's me color, Josie? Orange. Aha, just like the color of me university. Burnt orange. This is me party, Josie. I can feel her. Well, they've never been elected into Congress, so they're kind of irrelevant. Pirates aren't irrelevant. Pirates are relevant. Stop talking like that or I'll tell you about the NPD. Be they pirates? Nope. Ninjas? No, they're the National Democratic Party. Well, okay. That sounds nice. What color are they? Brown, like the little shits that they are. Whoa, since when do you hate Democrats? Everett, it's the Nazi party. Wait. <laughs> you guys still have a Nazi party? You guys have a Nazi party? Yeah, but wait, really? Yeah, the ANP, the American Nazi party, headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. <laughs> Ew. Don't come to bed like that. How about Josie? We're in America now. How about Josie? Don't let it get you down. How about Josie? I'll always be around. How about Josie?